Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the 11th chapter of grade 9 Fluvial Geomorphology. This is the second session of the chapter. In this session we will analyze the work of river in its upper course. In this session we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. Analyze the work of river in upper course. List different landforms created by river in its upper course. Illustrate the formation of these landforms with the help of diagrams. But before we begin our journey to explore about river's upper course, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding the same. First, the river valley remains same throughout its journey. Second, River has maximum water when it is in mountains. Third, waterfalls are generally not very high. Well, all these are myths, misconceptions. Let us explore the facts. Do we see river flowing in the same manner right from its origin to its end? You would definitely say no. As the stream moves water from high elevation like mountains towards low elevations like the oceans which is at the sea level, the work of the stream changes. The journey of the river can be broadly categorized into three stages. The upper stage the middle stage, the lower stage. The upper stage is also known as the young stage. The middle stage is also known as the matured stage. And finally, the lower stage which is known as the old stage. Properties of the river match its name. The river begins at its source which is mostly in the crest of mountain range. At high elevations, streams are just beginning streams that have small channels and steep gradients. This means that the stream will have high velocity and will do lots of work eroding its stream bed. The higher the elevation, the farther the stream is from where it eventually meets the sea. Since the river is flowing very swiftly, the valley is generally V-shaped. The path of the river is fairly straight. And work of the river is mainly erosion. Some of the landforms which we can see in the upper course of the river are waterfalls, rapids, cords, canyons, etc. Since the river is flowing very swiftly, the predominant action is vertical erosion. The valley developed is thus deep, narrow and distinctively V-shaped. Downcutting takes place so rapidly that the lateral erosion cannot keep pace. In some cases where the rocks are very resistant, the valley is so narrow and the sides are so steep that gorges are formed. For example, the Indus Gorge in Kashmir. Gorges have very narrow valley with steep sides. 
in arid regions where there is little rainfall to widen the valley sides and the river cuts deep into the valley floor very large valleys are formed called canyons the grand canyon of usa is an example of large canyons the upper course of the river is also full of rapids cataracts and waterfalls rapids are formed when river moves very fast through uneven land or land with obstructions these are liable to occur at any part of the river course but are mostly numerous in the mountainous course where changes in the gradient are more abrupt and also more frequent due to the unequal resistant of hard and soft rock traversed by a river the outcrop of a band of hard rock may cause a river jump and fall downstream here rapids are formed similar falls of greater dimensions are also referred to as cataract which interrupt the smooth navigation another famous landform created by river in its upper course is waterfall waterfall is formed when water falls over a ledge on the ground their great force usually wears out a plunge pool waterfalls are formed in various ways when a bar of resistant rock lies transversely across a river valley example niagara falls in usa which is 167 feet high second when a fault line scrap caused by faulting lies across the river example of this is the victoria falls on river zambezi which plunges 360 feet next is water plunging down the edge of a plateau example livingstone falls on river congo which leaps for 900 feet next hanging valley also produce waterfalls which are caused by glaciation example the yosemite fire falls of california which is a total descent of 2560 feet and sometimes waterfalls are formed on river beds that consist of soft rock sandwiched between hard rocks as you can see in this diagram soft rock is sandwiched and is under hard rock as water erodes the softer rocks much faster than the harder rock a waterfall is eventually formed the power of falling water creates what we call as the plunge pool the harder rock is also gradually eroded and the waterfall the ledge moves backwards all this changes as the river moves out of the mountainous region and enters the plain this was all for this session in the next session we will explore the middle stage of the river don't forget to watch thank you